Required to close during lockdown 2.0, where well, you could be due up to £3,000 a month. Watch on. As a business accountant, my team and I spent all day long helping business owners on their journey. As you can imagine right now, during these coronavirus times, it's been a bit of a roller coaster for many small businesses. Now we're in a period where we're in lockdown 2.0, as people are referring to it, and there has been more help announced. Now one of the key measures announced was some help in the form of business rate grants for those places that were required to close. Now we'll talk about what that looks like and what required to close means shortly, but before we get into this video in full, if you like these type of videos, make sure to click the subscribe button below and you'll be notified whenever we release more just like it. So in terms of the grants, the grants there for people who pay business rates. And I say pay, I don't you don't actually have had to hand any money over. So quite often you might be in a premises where you have what they call small business rates relief. So you'll get a bill and it says you should have paid this in business rates, but actually what we're going to do is because you you qualify it's it's currently down to nil and that's been happening for many years. It didn't always and it's subject to change, but so right now really what we're talking about is if you got say like a high street premises or a unit or anything like that it's more than likely you're actually registered or you should be registered for business rates even if you physically don't pay them just because what's known as your rateable value is so low so what i would do first off if you've got any queries is dig through your paperwork and find out if you have got a rates bill it's quite important if you received a grant previously in the coronavirus lockdown for say 10 or 25 grand which was a, a thing that was an offer early doors then this very much relates to you but however uh, this time round, what they're saying is that this grant is only payable if you're required to close by law so that's things like hairdressers gyms um, personal care leisure anything like that where you can't act actively do what you would do because you need to provide in-person services so it's those kind of businesses if unfortunately you've been required to you, well not required to close but you felt like actually I need to close because I, I can't really justify this and everything else unfortunately it doesn't really apply to you because they have said it has to be required by law to shut so if you're still able to operate even in a um, reduced capacity um, then in theory this grant's not for you so it, the easy clear-cut ones are things like gyms and, and barbers and hairdressers and the like so th think that kind of thing um, and what you'll find is that when we talk about where you go to f to get these grants which is your local council and they do actually have some exclusions on the website and you've got to have a quick read just to check in in case you feel like you might drop into one of those so how much are you going to get from the grant that's the interesting bit we're all here for so as I mentioned at the start it's up to three thousand pound a month and currently the only reason they say month they I think technically it's a 28 day period from the initial lockdown that they announced however However, who knows if they're going to extend it but right now that this this grant that's on offer we call it the first one just in case it's extended but this this grant is for that one period so it's a single payment made to you now depending on your rateable value so if you get the reason I say you want to go and find your business rates bill from your local council is because it will have your rateable value on there now that rateable value is sometimes roughly linked to what you pay in rent I mean that's not how they determine it necessarily but often it, they they feel quite similar so if your rateable value is under fifteen thousand pound you're going to get one thousand three hundred and thirty four pounds for that period if your rateable value is between fifteen and fifty one thousand you're going to get two thousand pound a month and if your rateable value is over fifty one thousand you're going to get three thousand pound a month that's it. There's no other complications to that. It's just a straight, this is the amount you're going to get. In terms of how you apply for it, well, you go to your local council's website. So I know locally we put a blog on our website where people could find the local councils, but honestly, if you just uh, go onto your local council's website, especially if you've got the bill, so you know who your, your local council is, there's a simple application form. At the time of recording this video, the majority of councils have got them up. However, even locally, there's one particularly big one that still hasn't got the, the form live as I'm recording. I checked it this morning. So, uh, But most of them is a simple online form. And again, going back to the reason why it's so important to have that bill is they'll ask sometimes for uh, certain numbers that are on the bill, but the main one, most of the forms, as a required piece of information want your rateable value so you're going to want that from your bill so do do that but actually the application form itself is very short very simple and then it's going to be processed uh, at currently at the time of recording not seen any being paid out yet but I suspect that actually once the councils gear up for this it should be very very quick they were with the previous rate grants so a couple of things to remember is that this grant is per eligible premises so what you might find is if you've got a couple of shops let's say you own a couple of salons that both have to shut then you could potentially get a grant for each so that's great news the other thing to remember is that you might look at it and think oh well, my rateable value is wrong all of a sudden you might look at your bill and think well, because you've never really looked at it before because it probably benefited you if it was lower um, and thought well that doesn't seem right to me however unfortunately for 
for anti-avoidance reasons. What they've said is, look, when this lockdown began, this this, this lockdown too, um, we're going to take your rateable value from there, so don't mess around. So basically, it is what it says in the bill, and, and that's what you get, unfortunately. So that's it. So go and check out your local councils, apply for these grants, and hopefully you get your money flowing. If you have had any experiences of this, please do drop it in the comments. I'd love to hear how you got on. That's it. See you on the next one.